Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show how to import the data from a text file to our SQL Server database. So for that we have a SQL Server BCP command and we can use that to import the data from text file to table. So for that we need First, we need a file with data. Second thing, we should have a table. Could be a staging table where we will import the data. We should have a format file which will be in XML format. And then we can run the, uh, run the BCP command to import the data. Let me show you quickly uh, the example. So, I have BCP testing folder here. So in inbox folder, you can see there is a staging data. It could be of million of records and uh, you will get in this format. So this is the file and first, first line is header. And after that we have records, okay. Now the next thing is that we should have a format file which will read the data and will understand which field is for what. So you need to build this file similar to that. So in record MC, uh, we have three records, okay? Uh, three columns, so we are getting here three columns and then here there are three um, columns data. First is article ID, then name, then article price. So this will understand which data is for which field and it will import the data. Now, the second thing is we need to run this command in PowerShell. Before that, I am going to show you the table. So this is my staging table. As you can see, there is no record. And we are going to get this data. This data in our table. So let's run this command. So this first line, I'm reading the variables, uh, which in short, I'm passing over here. You can see that in BCP command, I am first passing the staging table name in the table where we are going to get the data from text file. Then we have file path. Where is the file? Then we are giving DB username to log in into the SQL Server database. After that, we are providing password. This is the server name where your SQL Server is available. Then this is the database name. And this is the control file. That XML file I, show, I just shown you. So that one I am giving here. And this is the start row. So start row number equal to two I have given. This is because the data is actually starting from number of row two here. Okay. Now, if we run this command, so as you can see, there are five rows copied. Okay. Let's go to the SQL Server database and run this query. And you can see there are five records entered. So this is the way to run the BCP command to get the data from the text file 
to the SQL Server database table. Thank you. Happy learning.